I would say the needs in the community felt overwhelming. I call it an enemy that you can't see, you can't taste, you can't smell. So I have a lot of people that are just really afraid of what's next. The challenges um, early on were many. We're seeing a huge increase in food insecurity all across Massachusetts. People are hungry. We need to do something. The mental health and the wellness of people, the isolation, is something that I, I think keeps me up at night. There was all these complicated technological uh, issues, and those were expensive and we would not have been able to make that pivot without the help of the Essex County Community Foundation. The COVID Response Fund was, was one of the recipients of a very specific investment that North Shore Bank made focused on uh, the immediate needs of the community, shelter, uh, food insecurity. We knew that ECCF could distribute those funds to a number of smaller nonprofits that we may not have had the specific reach for. We decided that it was very important for us to be part of this collective giving because individually we could have some impact, but for us to know that we were getting together with other fund holders, we could see a far greater impact for our giving. Each one of the dollars that comes into our community really does go farther and it does have a multiplier effect. The more we can be collaborative, the, the better off we are. If we can get the people that we uh, do business with, our employees and our friends and our family uh, to also engage. And that has an exponential effect. So that has been such a gift to South Church. It's been amazing to see the giving of our congregation um, increase by tenfold in this year, in a pandemic year. People have seen what our mission partners are doing, have felt a closeness to that work, um, and have also experienced the joy of that collective giving. As we started to donate, initial monies, the giving started to be really amazing. And that's the power of collective giving. The response from our congregation was amazing. We raised, um, I think it was $7,500. We're beginning to think about a whole new ecosystem of uh, food and security agencies. We are kind of foot soldiers with them in addressing hunger relief here on the North Shore. The funding that we receive, it really helps in making sure that we continue to feed our elders. I certainly sleep a lot better now than I did in March and April. The support did mean life and death for a number of our patients. We live in a country that is so individualistic, right? Like as Americans, we just think of ourselves, like what does it take for me to care for myself? But we are connected as human beings, right? Like your heart is my heart and, and we need to care for each other. And when we do care for each other, we are changed and transformed through that.